Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with a, another product review. Today we will be reviewing the SMS, the Scale Modelers Supply Panel Line Wash. It is a oil based opposed to an enamel wash for easy uh, flow and it's already uh, thinned to almost a filter like consistency opposed to the thicker washes by Mr. Hobby and Tamir and um, supposedly it's pre-mixed ready to go straight out of the bottle onto uh, bare plastic or painted surfaces now a warning if you snap your models um, and use panel line wash on uh, seam lines uh, there is chances of the uh, peg uh, loosening up and falling apart thus your model breaking for washers to work efficiently on snapped gunder models, glue will need to be applied, or at least uh, the widening of the hole that the uh, peg needs to uh, click into. That aside, uh, let's do a test with the black. Now, first look, uh, the quantity is 30 mil, oil based. We've got our usage instructions, the panel line, wash range has been specially formulated to work over acrylics or lacquers excellent I'll be uh, testing over an acrylic base anyway uh, apply a coat of clear gloss over the model once fully dried load the panel line wash onto a fine brush and touch onto the panel detail and blah 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 all the usual stuff shake well before use I've already uh, sufficiently shaked quite a bit just uh, your usual safety stuff if you need to ship it or sell it from a hobby shop or whatnot. First, we will have a look at the consistency. And you can see that the paint uh, or the wash is of practically a water consistency. And it flows straight away without leaving a uh, very, very little behind. Now I've got uh, this test model and there's quite a bit of uh, interesting detail so we will be going straight into his um, arm. So we can see that there are panel lines along here um, it's more or less a uh, bare plastic surface and as soon as I just touch the wash actually just very quickly, beautifully just runs through all the panels. I have not re-scribed them or anything. And I've got a bit of a, a, a manky tissue. I just uh, wipe the excess. It looks pretty good. It uh, flows very, very nice, very naturally. doesn't look too dirty. Uh, we'll find an area that uh, is all white and we will... Uh, try with a wider brush so opposed to a pin wash we'll be doing a sludge wash so what you do is you're just covering everything and it's really subtle that's what I really like about this wash and then you just wipe immediately uh, none of this waiting for it to sit for a while and using thinner just, just wipe as you can see that it has picked up a little detail, just really, really subtly. It's uh, not overbearing, it's not overly thick. Opposed to the other side where, um, or other detail, where there's no wash. And you can apply a few times to get it darker. And the more you do it, the more it will stand out so yeah not too bad whatsoever we'll try a painted surface now this is a thruster bell it has been coated with future floor acrylic um, to me it would also suffice very glossy very pretty it is a final piece and I'm going to sludge wash uh, the rings that are going around And it's just ever so lightly and subtly picking up the detail. Uh, the piece is extremely glossy, so uh, my um, 
apologies if it's a bit hard to see at this camera angle. I will do a close up. And just wipe away the excess immediately and um, there's no need to uh, wipe off with thinner if you do allow to dry and if you see a few blemishes uh, wiping it off uh, does work if you're doing a fine um, gloss job uh, you'll have to repolish and re-top coat which is extra work you don't want to do that you want to cut as many corners as you can to get as um, a best finish as possible but uh, yeah that's uh, come out quite nicely Here's another example of how subtle the sludge wash is. Just a pro tip, if you've never used oils before, it is very slow drying. Allow a few hours for it to set before you uh, put any higher PSI glosses or other finishes over it. Uh, just to allow ample time not to flood out uh, the panels that you've uh, put the wash in and uh, make your work uh, appear dirty and unpanel lined. So just a bit of a drying time uh, and then whatever finish that you desire on top. But uh, with how subtle that is, we're very impressed. We'll be using it continuously. And here is the finished result. The gloss finish, which is uh, the high polish finish that I've achieved, has not been disrupted, crazed, damaged whatsoever. And we can actually see a noticeable uh, black ring around where the little panels are running. Uh, throughout the piece. So uh, this has worked very very well uh, running with the directions of acrylic or lacquer. Uh, very very happy. I have quite a few of them now. I'll be uh, using these uh, from now on once my enamel stock starts to run a bit dry but I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, there is uh, snow, grey, dark and light browns which is great for weathering and uh, sand is coming out soon as well as I suppose more colours in the future. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time highly recommended uh, check it out on the SMS uh, Facebook page and other places that sell them. This so far is an Australian open product but we will see how things go in the future. Catch you guys later and stay tuned for more SMS reviews.